We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision Boston to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. and 10 and they've got three tight ends out there a jumbo package look they'll start on the ground with Swift stiff armed him and he'll be out of bounds at the 25 yard line five yards on the game's first play second down a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game here's a second and five now from the 25 They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Burt sets up to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he's going to have an Eagles first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. They run out of the gun with Swift. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Bud Dupree, a former first-round pick, in on the stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Hurts. There's the former Falcons star, Julio Jones, with the grab. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Play action. Here's Hurts. And that one's going to come up short. Low throw. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to the running game with Swift. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Second down, here's Hurts. He's got Smith here. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line.
From the gun, here's Swift. David Onyemata there on the tackle. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Throwing his hurts. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. We're scoreless after one. Terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Here's Swift. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. Flush to his right. Chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. That was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. to throw. Open man, he's got him. Matt Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Eagles post the first points in the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the end just to get the foot. Elliott goes with a PAT. And it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now a first carry here for Robinson. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the United Scrimmage. But it goes a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And able to connect incomplete. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Ready, set. 
Their boy down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. Trying for it on fourth down. Here's Ritter. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. And it is a big let down there defensively. They somehow allow him to convert on fourth and long. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. We really didn't have any doubt that he was going to be one of the top-rated rookies coming into the league, especially as a runner. And he's given us no reason to change our minds. That's a big-time run. And the production that he showed us in college is translating very well into the National Football League. On first down, Ritter. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Offense was moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try to mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And the co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. But really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. First down with Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. But well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. This play started with the protection you have to have it to give your quarterback time to let routes develop downfield. And then it's on him to locate an open man, and he does just that. Play callers love four vertical routes because receivers can be open at any time downfield, often for big gains. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. This is caught. and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. 
And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. On first and 10, it's Robinson. It's a nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back to Robinson now on first down. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a second and five. Ritter. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. They'll run with Robinson. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. B. John Robinson as the first half is winding down. And the Falcons are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Now Arthur Smith going to tell the offense to stay put. We're going for two. They'll let Robinson try and run. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the drive for two. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and never really press the issue. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. see the clock almost empty so this is likely the last play in the second quarter they'll throw now on the final play out to the left there and complete to the tight end gunner and he's going to get this down near the 30 yard line time for a break we've hit halftime two quarters down two still remain we step aside this is the nfl on ea sports Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaunt. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive, Will, because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there in the first down run. He gets maybe three. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 39. And quickly, they get to the line. Third and short, Ritter. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 21. Ritter will set up to throw it. That is incomplete. So it looks like they start some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Ritter with another throw on second down. That ball is caught. It's London for the Atlanta touchdown. From 21 yards away. And the Falcons are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. And this will be caught. And it's taken hurt here for two. They didn't want the tie. They rolled the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feel like we're just hanging with you. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead, and that just changes the complexion of the whole game. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. I thought we get a little jangly up there before that last play call. And then once it happened, I was like, oh, because it feels like almost a missed golden opportunity to take a shot in that position. You think first and five, maybe you go for a little more than a short run? Almost a free down. On second down and four. Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Ten yards there and an eager first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed, a lot of great penetration as they stepped out of the line stretch. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. 
And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. touchdown for the first order of business was to get the lead back and they've done that now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there the Atlanta offense out there for their next drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly it's just about wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated they both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind to me it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other on second down, another shot for Robinson. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Winner from the gun on third down. And it is caught. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw complete there to Smith. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Back to throw, Ritter. Smith catches left side. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 40. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 94 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try to snatch it. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 48. Zach Cunningham rolling in to get the sack. Second down and a run by Robinson. And they will only muster a yard here at the 38. Oh, Gives you a sample for the man in the middle because his ability to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On third down, Robinson fighting his way down to about the 35 yard line. Certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. This for the lead in the final stages. Koo knocks this one to the post. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. 
you're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Here's first and ten. the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. 63, 63, 63. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's got a first down there after a gain of about 12 as the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. Once again, it's Swift. Going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. Like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. It's a gain of four, makes it third and two. He's back to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first. And they are knocking on the door of field goal range now. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Swift. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. But the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as 
So head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and four. Ritter looking to throw it here. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. He kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. This is taken at the 18. It's a 54-yard punt with a return of 11. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so. I think that they out this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it. Oh, now some trickery. They fake the spike. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. They'll come up now, second and nine. Back to throw. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Philly.